I would say to anyone who doesn't know what Goodwill Easter Seals does, you're missing out. The range of things that we're able to offer, the programs that we have, people gain confidence, people gain the ability to support their family. And I think those intangible things, in addition to the hard skills like the jobs people are securing, those intangibles are really important as well. And I think Olivia's story is just one of many that we could be recognizing and celebrating. My name is Olivia Bruner. I participated in the medical office program. I went to St. Paul College to get my associate's degree in massage therapy. I was doing that for about four years until I had two back surgeries on both sides of my spine. I was extremely worried. I didn't know what I'd be able to do and I hadn't been working because I couldn't. My sister actually told me about the program. I was thankful to hear about the medical office program and what it could bring forward for me. The medical office program helps people prepare for entry-level positions. These are our patients' first point of contact. It is a very important role in overall healthcare delivery as a team. To kind of talk a little bit about Olivia, I was a career specialist for her while she was in class. I teach the employability skills for the medical office training program. Olivia brought a lot to the table when it came to employability skills and she came into class with the most positive attitude and she was kind of the glue that kept the class together. She was always the first person to say, you got this, don't worry about it, you're going to do fine. Successful students in this program possess really good customer service skills and being able to make those human connections that takes a very special type of person to be authentic in every role of healthcare delivery. In healthcare, it's very difficult sometimes because patients are undergoing some serious issues and Olivia has a, a very strong ability to relate to people, to bring a smile and a positive attitude regardless of a the situation. There are a few challenges. I lived far away. I would commute about an hour, sometimes an hour and a half. I would get here early and I would sit outside the doors and wait for my instructors or someone to get in so they could unlock the doors so I could continue studying. Olivia was commuting every single day in the middle of winter. Her ability to commit and uh, pursue her goals, I think is what made her so successful. I just pushed through being positive. That was the only thing that I could do. And I knew that my instructors were in my corner, so that made it even easier to have that support that I needed. With the help of this program, I have decided to go back to school to become a nurse. Everything just leading up to this has just helped me to find what I wanted to do. So I'm looking forward to doing that this fall. When the time came to start thinking about participants to recognize for this, there was definitely some folks that immediately popped into our minds and Olivia was right at the top of that list. I remember hearing that she was determined and strong and was making it work for her. And so we're extremely pleased that she was able to have her accomplishments recognized in this way.